everybody embraced me and showed me the love that they did. It's amazing. So now I'm proud of you. Hey, Brendan, following up on that, what was it like for you to see Hamsa make that play and, and knowing how hard he's worked to, to put himself in position to get there? It was just incredible and then seeing the reaction by everybody else because, like, you know, like just said, like, yeah, he went through a lot. And just being his really first game, home game in last this year, it was like, it was just happy for him. All right, you want to hear from the Democrats? For the guys who are still here, obviously, I know the roster's kind of been depleted somewhat over the last couple of weeks. How much of a reward was tonight after just what you've been through over the last couple of weeks? Uh, you said how much of a war? Reward. Oh, a reward. Well, it just, you know, it just showed us, like, no matter what happened, especially with all this COVID stuff and, like, you never know who might not be able to play and when. It was, like, for guys to be able to step up and just take on bigger roles and embrace them. And when stuff go down, down, downhill, embrace it and, and set the challenge just to be better. Be good. Be good in the locker room. All right, go on to Ira. Brendan, did, did you force that fumble right after halftime? And, and could you talk about that play? Uh, I don't really. They they told me I did on the sideline. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I really. I mean, it was fourth down. I seen the quarterback. Seen what he wanted to do. I knew what decision he was gonna make. And I was really just trying to get a stop for the sticks. Just gave it all my that that play made something happen. All right, going to Avalon. Um, you both can answer this, but I'll start with you uh, first, Ham. Just, you know, everything, that, the, the long layoff that you guys have had, um, being able to win a game, I guess it has this kind of emotion on it. Does it reinvigorate you to want to keep playing? You guys have a game next week, but can you even think about playing another game after everything you guys have been through the last few weeks, or are you eager to, to keep playing? Man, we definitely eager to play. I mean, Saturday, the last game coming up for me, like, just – that's just a lot, feeling. But I take, I take all these, I take all these games very seriously. I take them to heart because you never know when your last could be just from a play in general. But you got to play every time like it's your last. And I don't think it's a thing where people waiting for it to be over. But I feel like people are excited about this and ready to take this momentum forward. Brendan, you, you agree? You got anything else to add to that? Yeah, I definitely agree because even for me. And I know, like, our group, I know we take, we plan on taking this energy into the next game and then into the offseason, into the spring, into next season. So we just got to keep it going. Going to Kurt Ham, so you saw the guy next to you make a couple plays tonight. I know Travis had the really ridiculous interception tonight. I guess how much have you seen those guys kind of grow this season just because of the roles they've kind of been forced into? Um. I have seen so much growth, especially coming from uh, Matt Ball in his first one to now. I have seen so much growth, and a lot of it has to do more with, I think, just the COVID stuff and a lot of the stuff that doesn't have to do with football more than just football. It's just it'll help develop a lot of people on our team. All right, going to Snow. Obviously, you guys started fast. There was a point, though, where, where Duke cuts it to, to a one-score game. Um, maybe in the past, earlier this season, you guys didn't always respond well when, when teams made runs like that. What allowed you to respond productively and positively tonight? Like, where did you guys grow from, say, a few you know, weeks ago when you last played? Uh, we just stayed together. And, you know, that's what they've been preaching. They preach every day. And it's just like, it, it finally happened. We was able to. It's like keep each other up and be good teammates to each other and then translate it onto the field. I definitely think that. I feel like we, we just came together and as a unit, we had a stronger attention to detail today and we was all on the same page for the most part. It was still times we was out there and guys, was, one guy was off or we was missing some pieces, but I feel like as a unit, we just was more, we was more cohesive today. We played as one better. You guys had, uh, I think, four turnovers on the day, um, and some of them were 
you know, pretty really impressive plays. But Travis Jay's play, um, that pick, that one-handed pick, um, is that the kind of stuff you see him do from time to time in practice? Everything and ball count, especially like it, it, it calmed down a little bit, you know, with the season going, like the scouts and all that. But ball count, it was like every day, it was, like you were just waiting on it. You knew it was coming, you just ain't no win. Yeah, trying to make the plays and time at him. Plays just like that. And ball get in the air, he comes down with it every time. Anything else for our defensive players? Yeah, Jay, you want to? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Um. <clears throat>